Hi, before we start today, uh, we're just going to have a little look at shading. Um, it will help with our artwork later. Now, shading is when you go from light to dark. So we're going to have a go at doing that. We can do that with just a pencil and we can start by doing a light grey. We're going to just gently put our pencil to paper. It's very, very light. Very, very gently. Then we're going to press a little darker, a little harder. Not have to press too hard to make a difference. A little bit harder. And then a bit harder. You can see the colour changing each time. So we get very, very dark indeed. Now we don't need to press on that hard that our pencil goes through the paper. But it does get harder and harder as you go down. So we started there. See the shades as they go down. So if we're going to make something have a shadow, we need to decide what side the light is coming from. So if you've got a big light here, sending all the light out there then your shadow is going to be on this side so let's think let's have a, a box it's a very quick box on there so this side of the box is going to be very dark because it's incomplete darkness is hiding away from the light. On this side will be light at the front and it'll get darker as it goes. And same with the top. Light at the front and darker the further down the box it goes. And if it's got a shadow shadow will do the opposite that will start very very dark because that's right behind the item and it'll go lighter the further away the shadow is because the more light can reach that area there we go so let's get on with our lesson shall we we are going to look at some shading this week and we are going to have a look at the moon because I know that you have been talking about Neil Armstrong. So we're going to draw the moon and put the flag on it but we're also going to draw the earth as seen from the moon which I think is described as a, a marble. So we're going to start by doing the uh, the moon surface. So we need a horizon, which is slightly curved, not a big loop or a wall, just a curve. And then we're going to put some craters on it. So they start just as like flat circles, like that. We're going to make them dark. We do this by pressing on with our pencil. We want to put a few of these on, not lots. We don't want it to look like Swiss cheese. All different sizes. So now the moon looks like it's got holes in it. 
but they're not really holes that we need we need some craters so we're going to give these holes a little bit of depth all we need to do is just put a little line on each side that one looks like a J looks like an L Not exactly like the letters, but a little bit. Like that. Now, here's the tricky bit. We're going to shade them. Now, we're going to pretend the light is coming from this side. So, it's got to be dark on this side. So, we're going to press with our pencil. Like that. We're going to carry on a little bit, getting lighter and lighter. We get lighter and lighter by pressing lighter and lighter on that pencil. And we're going to do this to all of our craters. And your shading it's like the shadow of the, the crater, doesn't it? it? All has to go in the same direction. There we go. So that's all our crater's done. So now we're going to draw the earth. Now, this is for standing my phone up in, but I'm going to use it because it's a lovely, good sized circle. A lovely earth. So we know the earth is white at the top and white at the bottom because that is where the ice comes. You don't know, it doesn't go straight across. It's a bit of a wiggly line. And then we need to add some earth to it, to the earth, some land. Now, from this high up, you can't really tell which land it is. So it doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. And we've got some land there. Now then, on um, the moon as well, in the moon landings, um, Mr. Armstrong planted a flag. So I think we should plant a flag too. So we need a flagpole first, don't we? So we'll put our flagpole here, just a straight line. A little bit thicker if you like. But remember the shadow, that's very thin shadow isn't it? We're going to fade this one. And now the flag. Now if we draw the flag, if we make a flag look like that. Now it's either got it's either an ironed very very well or there's no breeze or anything to make it move when we want to make our flag look like it's moved up. So we're going to put two lines, like that. Then we're going to put two more, just underneath each one of those. And join those on the end. And then, just finish that off. So it was the American flag, so we know it's got stars and stripes, and the stars quarter at the top is very near the pole. So we're going to start adding a little bit of colour. So we're going to use our colours. We're going to use our uh, primary colours, red, blue and yellow. And we're also going to use grey and green. <coughs> so we're going to put a little bit of uh, a desert on our earth so we can colour one of the 
earth areas in. And then we can put the green Now we need a little bit of blue for the sea. So now we're going to colour the flag. So this part is blue. Now I know there's stars on this, but it's a bit tricky to colour the stars in. So we're just going to do that blue but it'll all make sense in a moment. Now the stripes, we're going to do this this side stripes. Then we're going to do this side stripes. But the stripes don't need to match up because the flag's a little bit wonky where it's blowing in the wind. And now we're going to do out of space. And there we are. And we've got a lovely view of the moon with the Neil Armstrong's flag. Some lovely craters. Can't wait to see your work. I hear you've been doing very, very well. And I will see you again next week. <laughs>